The Rev D20 has this really cool feature that allowed me to make this video. It can run two outputs simultaneously. Uh, the first output is an XLR out. You can use a mic cable to connect the Rev directly to your interface. And through that output, it's sending its own internal modeling, like whatever cabinet you have selected on the front of it. It's got six spots for cabinets. Uh, the technology is the same that's in the Two Notes Torpedo. And whatever you have selected, it's sending the guitar amp portion of the Rev through uh, the modeling portion which is the cabinet and the microphone in the room. The second output is just a standard speaker out, and you use that to connect the Rev to a speaker cab. Well, here in this video, I'm using the second output, the speaker out, to use a speaker cable to go straight into the aux box. So I've got two simulated cabinets running at the same time with the same amp. It's a great way to isolate that portion of the Rev and shoot it out against the aux because they both do um, cabinet modeling with microphones and the room. So on the one side you're hearing the rev, and on the other side you're hearing the aux. And I have them panned a little bit in the video. You're hearing the direct feed from Pro Tools, basically. So I'll go back and forth on uh, the rev and the aux. I use my Jazz Master, I use my 335, I step on a bunch of pedals. I mainly stick to one 412 cab on the aux. It's the uh, 412 GB25 thick. I just like that one the best. I do run through some of the others as well. But um, this is a really good chance to hear, you know, which one sounds most convincing, or do they both sound really convincing? And you can decide, you know, if you want the all-in-one package from the Rev, or do you want to be able to use all your other amps going through the aux? Or in my case, do you want to have both? <laughs> Just to have options. We've all got volume constraints. I got a lot of comments on recent videos where people were saying, I can't turn my deluxe reverb up to 10. I'm like, well, you, you can in the studio, or you can with an attenuator. I've done it live. I've literally reached back and cranked the thing up for a solo, and uh, that turns some heads. <laughs> Maybe not all in a good way, but it's fun, man. It's just fun. I've never been fired for it, I'll tell you that. So anyway, enjoy. See ya. I'm, I'm running direct in. I don't have... I've got my pedal board in line, but nothing's on right now. So here is the Rev 412. Um, again, the gain's up, so you're hearing a bit of gain. <laughs> Okay, and here's the aux. Now that is the 412 GB25 thick. Well, that means it's a 25 watt greenback and it's a thicker sound. And I'm getting an extra thicker sound by having two ribbon mics on it. Why don't I change one of these? Um, I'm, I'm almost always running a 57. So <clears throat> here it is, now with a 57 and a 121. That's a very common miking combination in Nashville, to be honest with you. I'd say, I'd say it's the most common. When people are using two mics, it's usually a 57 and a, and a Roar 121. So this is, once again, the Aux 412 Greenback 25 Thick. Very cool. So let's step on a couple pedals. Um, how about a little bit of uh, Maris Mercury 7? That was the aux. Here's the rev. Very cool. Back to the aux. I'm going to step on a fuzz pedal. Same thing on the Rev.
also very cool. I'm going to turn my volume down to like 8, keeping the fuzz pedal on. Let's go to the uh, aux. the rev model a little bit more right now you know I'm sure I could tweak the aux to get it to where I really like it let's do that let's look at some other cabinets in the aux so greenback 25 thick how about GB 25 punch so this is like a punchier version of what we were just hearing <laughs> Let's hear that versus the rev. Here's the rev again. Very cool. Now let's try the 412 UK V30. I'm assuming it's probably a vintage 30, which is a 60 watt speaker, but full disclosure. I've always kind of hated vintage 30s. You have to be playing with so much gain for them to do what they're good at, to me. I just don't love them in almost every cabinet. Almost always prefer just a green back or, um, an, you know, a Celestian Blue. I really like that speaker in my Tweed Deluxe. <laughs> So there's the, the V30. Let's go back to full game. Back to the rev. Still at full game. to the ox. Yeah, these are all really great sounds. I, you know, with so much gain, I don't mind the, the V30 thing. Let's go back to 8 on the volume knob. That's our UK V30 cab. Here's back to the rev. Man, you know, I, I'm playing by myself, so I'm hesitant to make, like, hard and fast judgments, you know, because things sound differently in a mix, for sure. Um, I, I think I get great sounds out of both of these. Um, for the rev, having only one sound, it is a really great sound <laughs> for the 412. And the thing is, it's not limited to that. I can plug it in to my computer via USB and load other cabs into it, you know, but the one that it comes with is pretty solid. Uh, let's hear another one. Another 412 on the aux. 412 California V, or CAV. Modern and deep closed back cabinet with four 12-inch speakers was designed for heavy, distorted, and scooped amp tones. Scooped, okay, so that means big bottom end and cutting top end. This cabinet speaker setup has a forward low mid-range with high high end edge. With high end edge. These speakers break up on notes around a high D. Okay, interesting. I've got speaker breakup basically off. <laughs> Back to the rev. 
Very cool, right? All right, now let's hear it with humbuckers. Uh, we'll start with the rev. And I'm gonna turn pedals back off. So no fuzz, no reverb, straight in, dry sound. That's uh, that's all the way up on the humbuckers. This guitar always sparkles up so nice when I just get a little lighter in my right hand. So let's hear the aux version, and I'll go back to the greenback 25 thick. cool. A um, little bit of verb, neck pickup. That's the aux. Back to the rev. Awesome. Okay, fuzz pedal, full on. Back to the aux. Back to the rev, let's go down on the volume to eight. Back to the aux. And let's change the cab. There's the GB25 punch. Here's the UK V30. Here's the CA V30, the, the thicker scooped one. Four twelve super eighty. Four twelve white seventy five. And those are all the four twelves. Back to the thick. It's kind of home base for me. You know, I might listen to the audio of this after the video's done and think, oh, wow, I liked some of those ones that I hardly ever played a lot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just running, running through most, most of them. Okay, bridge pickup, fuzz pedal full on, a little bit of reverb. That's the aux, here's the rev. Very cool. Back to the aux. Back to the red. That just sounds awesome. Back to the aux.
of weirdness. So back to the rev. <laughs> Volume down to eight. Still got the Maris verb on. Seems quite a bit brighter on the, the aux, and I think that's probably from the 57 mic that I have on there. Uh, although I do have the ribbon 121 slightly hotter in the blend. Still on eight on the volume. This is the rev I just switched to. So, um, my conclusion and recommendation is if you want something that's kind of all in one, easy, super easy to dial in, and has really great sounds built into it, not as many options, then the Rev is for you. Uh, if you also want <laughs> the option to play loads of different cabinets, to do stereo sounds, to have built in effects, to have a ton of presets at your fingertips. If you have one really great guitar amp and you want the option to have lots of different direct sounds to run that amp through, then the aux is for you. So yeah, I, I really like both of them. Um, there's a video I did called Carefully Constructed Wall of Rock Guitars. I think that's the best sounds that I have shown on this channel with the Rev. Um, so check that out too, you know. But for now, there it is. 412 sound versus 412 sound. I've been kind of a tube amp purist for my entire life, but I find that I'm okay with the modeling if it happens after the tubes. If there are real tubes that I can get to cooking a little bit, that I can get all that sort of harmonic stuff going on around the note, then I'm okay with the cab being modeled, you know? I don't think it's exactly like a real speaker you know there's something about the way that a real speaker moves air into a microphone's face <laughs> that we just haven't quite got you know there's that last call it five percent call it three percent or whatever um i generally live in that space because this is my full-time job you know I'm, I'm supposed to get great sounds on people's records uh but man there <laughs> i'll tell you there's a lot of studios that have, have an aux on hand where we just plug into that, you know, unless it's a big record, then we're, then we're really nerding out on every aspect of the signal chain. Um, and on certain sessions, I'll just carry the rev and I'll say, hey, just, just put an XLR at my station and I'll send you a really good direct guitar sound, you know. So there you go. Thanks for watching. See ya.